I'm um, one of the founders of ShareNL, which is a Dutch knowledge and networking platform for the sharing or collaborative economy. And we uh, initiated a few years ago Amsterdam Sharing City. Uh, we saw the sharing city phenomena happening in cities like Seoul, and we were inspired by that and thought, okay, we want to also introduce that to our city here in Amsterdam. So what Peter, the other co-founder, and me did was create a vision, a position paper around the sharing or collaborative economy in the city of Amsterdam and created a network of ambassadors around it because we believe that we have to be, you know, like this uh, room all on uh, uh, at the same table, like the city government, of course, but also the startups, also some corporates, uh, but also, for example, uh, a public library or a community center. We believe that those are all stakeholders in a city and all like also stakeholders in a sharing city. So um, we got all those parties or players together and launched Amsterdam Sharing City uh, early last year. Uh, with the objective to make Amsterdam into a playground for the collaborative economy, to do pilot projects, to learn from it together, with, of course, uh, an important role also of the city government. Um, and looking, of course, at the opportunities and all the challenges of the sharing or collaborative economy. Uh, gladly, the city government was really... Uh, uh, well involved from the beginning. So you have the CTO, the Chief Technology Officer of the City Government of Amsterdam, who, uh, Ger Baron, maybe some people know him. He couldn't be here today, but um, um, he is really also in favor. Uh, the same goes for the Alderman of Economic Affairs, Kaisa Olongen, who is also the Vice Mayor of Amsterdam, who says that she wants to be open to the sharing or collaborative economy in her city. Um, what does that mean, uh, for example, from the city perspective, uh, said, is that they want to stimulate the sharing or collaborative economy, that they want to be leading by example, so of course also be sharing as a city government itself, so for example, public space or uh, their own cars or uh, their own knowledge, uh, that they want an inclusive sharing economy, so a sharing economy for every citizen in the city of Amsterdam, that they, of course, will look at rules and regulations. So Amsterdam uh, is quite well known uh, for the 60 days rule or regulation around Airbnb, where the citizen in Amsterdam is permitted to uh, rent out his or her house for 60 days maximum. Um, that is something that, of course, is, yeah, maybe could be perceived as a pilot also, because it's existing now for a few years, uh, but it's also something that you have to monitor and see if those 60 days are still relevant at these times. Um, and Amsterdam city government wants to indeed be seen like a sharing city and put that on the map. So one of the examples was um, a round table session uh, in May, where you were also uh, there, Mayo, where uh, the vice mayor, Kaisa Olongren, invited other city, cities, preventive cities, to Amsterdam to uh, also look at city-to-city uh, -city learning and how we can partly uh, uh, co um, um, collaborate on the sharing economy. So she uh, invited cities like New York City, uh, Seoul, but also Barcelona uh, or uh, Copenhagen all to Amsterdam in uh, May, last May, to uh, discuss collaboration. And uh, I think it may be interesting to just briefly uh, tap on the first set of principles that were discussed there. Uh, one, of course, is social security. Uh, we have to look at uh, uh, themes like fair pay, for example. Another one is safety, so the safety of the platform in case of fire or food, for example. Of course, the sustainability factor, but also inclusiveness. So no uh, exclusion uh, because of uh, technology or age or any other uh, aspect. And also data sharing, so the ambition at least to say uh, that platform uh, platform should uh, be more open with their data and their technology uh, for example to prevent illegal activities um, I'm going through this quite fast but I don't want to take too much of your time so I think it's also nice maybe to just quote what uh, our vice mayor mayor said a few months ago and that it's that the sharing economy in the city of Amsterdam is not a question of ban or authorize authorized but of monitor and seize the opportunities so um, it's it's again an open and proactive uh, attitude towards the sharing economy but again we also look at all those challenges 
to make it concrete, some of the pilots that are happening in the city now or are just uh, started, uh, one is Amsterdam and it's City Pass. So especially people who are living in the city of Amsterdam and uh, are uh, not that... Uh, are, are more poor, if I must say so, uh, have the access to a city pass so that they have reductions uh, to go to museums uh, and uh, to sport facilities, etc. And uh, there's a project going on now to also connect the city pass to the sharing economy so that people have access to a lot more of the products and services in a city uh, than only by buying, for example. Another uh, project, for example, which we did last year is uh, uh, set up and organize a series of workshops in the public library just to tell people what is the sharing all economy all about and how we can help you uh, uh, yeah, maybe earn some money or at least share your stuffs and goods uh, uh, within your city. And for example, a few days ago, we were doing a presentation uh, for 120 people who have uh, a debt aid program uh, within the city of Amsterdam. So uh, that this is where you are in this program when you, uh, uh, when you have a lot of debt and the city uh, helps you out. And uh, also, of course, those people have a lot of benefit by the sharing economy. Um, I think this was just, in general, um, some of the aspects seen from the city perspective uh, as being an, a sharing city. And um, we from Sharonel are also helping the city by monitoring and uh, helping them out with our advice and our network, etc. And this is something we do more and more also with other cities. I think it's really relevant that uh, city governments, but also the other players in cities worldwide, uh, connect more and collaborate more on this phenomenon to learn from each other and also uh, to look at the things that are going uh, maybe not so well in different perspectives so we can grow uh, a fair playing field uh, with of course social security and um, I think this is my own view maybe we should on the one hand give room to all those platforms and give them a right to challenge but also of course regulate where necessary and also look at the responsibility of the platforms because that's also a, a key uh, role I think for platforms. Thank you.